Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to Nick's Scripts. Today I'll be- Oh. <clears throat> Today I'll be showing you how to make a loading screen. And, uh, it's quite simple. And, as always, scripts will be in the comment section below. Uh, they'll be pinned, so make sure to look at the very top. Uh, I promise they'll be there. And, if you have any more suggest suggestions for a video, or any questions about this video, you know, please ask them, share them. I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be honored to help. Anyways, let's get started with the video. First thing you're going to do is go to start a GUI and insert a sc uh, screen GUI. And then you're going to, uh, I'm just going to name this loading screen just to make things simpler. A lot more simple. Uh, and then in the loading screen, we're going to insert a frame. Now, to make this frame fill up the entire screen, we're going to change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0, which should do that. And then, just to make sure that it's centered and everything's perfect, I'm going to change the anchor point to one point, or 0 0.5, or just 0 0.5. And I should fill it up just for you like that. And then, center it again. Uh, and then in the frame, we're going to insert a text label. But first, let me just, uh, let me decorate my background, my frame real quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the color to black. That's really it. Uh, nothing special, but you could add like an image in the background by pressing the plus and putting an image label. But I'm not doing that. I'm keeping it simple for now. Now. In the text label, I'm just going to put that in the center. I'm actually going to make it big or just change its size to... That's good. And I'm going to put that in the center. After that, uh, I'm just going to put the... Uh, I'm just going to change the anchor point to 5 so it's more centered. It doesn't really go off to the edge over here. And I'm going to change the background transparency to 1. And then in the text, I'm just going to make it white. <clears throat> and then the uh, text size to 100, as big as possible. And then the font to Arial Bold. Yep, that looks good. Oh. Uh, other one looks cool too, but I'm going to stick with this. And then in the text label, we're going to insert a local script. In this local script, we're going to put while true do. And we're going to say script.parent.text equals loading and then dot. And then we're going to press enter and we're going to do wait as 0 0.1. And then we could just copy the what we just put about the script.parent.text and we're just going to paste that like three times. And on the second time we're going to put a second dot and on the uh, third time we're going to put three dots. So it's going to be like dot, 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 dot. I'll show you what I mean. What I mean. If, when we play the game, it should work. Uh, there we go. But it's a bit too fast. And I don't like this blue bar up here because it just shows it. it as you can see, I can like move around. Like I can change my, my view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the frame. And I'm going to change the background or the border size pixel to 100 and then make sure that the color is pitch black it just matches the uh the the background color and then for in the local script if i want to make the dots go slower i'm just going to put it to 0 0.5 instead now if we play the game it should be a lot yeah that's a lot better, honestly. Now, what we're going to do now is to make the thing go away after a certain amount of time. We're going to go to replicated storage. I mean, replicated first, sorry. And then we're going to insert a local script. And then we're going to drag our loading screen into the local script. Now in the script, we're going to put, uh, we're going to put game dot replicated first colon, uh, remove. Wait, no, I'm sorry, not replicate storage. I messed that up. 
replicated first colon remove default loading screen now we're going to put local player GUI equals game oops game dot players dot local player and then wait for child ah, typing is really bad today player GUI just like that uh, there we go and then we're gonna go down in extra space we're gonna put local GUI equals script dot loading screen and then clone and then we're gonna go down an extra we're gonna go down an extra line and we're gonna put GUI dot parent equals uh, player GUI so it's going to the GUI is just gonna clone the uh, the, the I'm sorry yeah the GU, the local GUI is going to clone the loading screen and then the GUI that parent is just gonna paste it into the player GUI just like that so now we're gonna go down two lines you know just to be sick I don't know you can you can stop here but we're gonna put repeat wait I'm gonna put 10 seconds and then until game is loaded just like that and then to have sort of a fade uh, I'm going to put player GUI wait for child uh loading screen oh whoops dot loading screen dot frame dot transparency and I'm just gonna copy this all I'm gonna and then I'm gonna put equals paste it plus zero point one and I'm gonna do wait wait 0 0.1 and then I'm going to copy that I'm gonna paste it like net an extra time so it's all it adds up to one the uh, 0 0.1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there we go so I should have 10 here and then this is basically just going to make it fades by slowly turning the by slowly making the background disappear I don't know but yeah the transparency is gonna go up and the background is gonna go away and then after this wait we're gonna put GUI uh, destroy so that after after it's done fading away it gets destroyed and it doesn't show up anymore once you die so this should be it uh, the 10 here you can change that to whatever you want I'm just gonna make it 10 because sometimes the game loads really quickly for the players and then when the game uh, and then when it is loaded I'm just gonna make them like wait another 10 I'm gonna make them wait like 10 seconds so that's how that is but you can change that to 5 if you want or you can change it to any number I'm gonna keep it at 10 so if we test this out uh, it should work so loading 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 and then yep there we go simple as that if we reset our character <gasps> it should not uh, there we go yep it works perfect so that's how you make a very simple loading screen in Roblox Studio. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Again, if there's any questions or video suggest su suggest and suggestion whatever. You know what I mean. Uh just be free to share them. I'd love to hear them and I'd love to help. Uh, uh thank you for watching. It's nice to come back after a while. So, see ya.